The Real McCoys, starring Walter Brennan, created by Irving Pincus. Want you to meet the family known as the Real McCoys. That's Grand Pappy Amos, the head of the clan. He roars like a lion, but he's gentle as a lamb. And now here's Luke, who beams with joy since he may take Mrs. Luke McCoy. From West Virginia they came to stay in sunny California. Old Grandpappy Amos and the girls and the boys of the family known as the Real McCoys. Good morning, girls. I'll get to you in just a minute. because everybody thinks I ain't supposed to know. But just because a man can't read, don't say there ain't other ways to find out what his birthday for. They, they... See, does any of you know an eagle? Well, whichever one of you done this can have the rest of the day off. <laughs> Did I say I was a businessman, or did I? Well, seeing as how nobody else would say it, it must have been you. Who do you suppose phoned this morning from Los Angeles? The fellow with the restaurants? Right. Harper himself. He offered a $250 bonus to tie up our egg production for the year. Hot dog, and you grabbed it? Oh, good businessman like me. Played hard to get. Played? Oh, I... So help me, Harry, if you ruin this deal, Now, I... don't worry. He's already agreed to pay $300. 300? Well, that's 150 for you and 150 for us McCoys. I told you if you stuck with me, you'd be rolling in money. Now get in the car. Uh, what for? Well, we got to drive to Los Angeles to sign a contract. Harper's waiting. Today? Right now. You got to put your ex on that contract. Uh, couldn't you call him up and, and tell him we'd be there tomorrow? He must don't be foolish. It's today and ever. If we don't meet Harper, he's going to sign with that, that farmer from Fontana. Now, come on. Oh, oh wait a minute. Uh, I, I can't go today, Harry. It, it's my birthday. Well, congratulations. Now, let's yeah, go. Well, wait a minute. You don't understand, Harry. The birthdays and McCoys, there's something special. You see, the whole family counts on it. They have, have uh, singing and dancing. And... Amos, are you trying to tell me that you'd pass up a $300 deal on account of a birthday? You know, you're too soft-hearted. In business, you've got to be hard as nails. Well, ain't you got brains enough to know there's more important things than money? And one of them's not to disappoint folks that's a counting on you? You know, I must have been crazy to go into partners with you. From now on, I'm through with it. Well, you ain't half as through with me as I am with you. <laughs> Come on, get out of here. Stay out. Oh, all the load down. No bad news on the egg deal, I hope, senor grandpa. We're all counting on it, you know. Oh, he don't mean nothing. You'd think he laid the eggs. I got the eggs. <laughs> I'm going to Los Angeles tomorrow and see Harper myself. That's what I'll do. Let's go in the house and get something to eat. Good morning, everybody. Morning, Hi, Grandpa. Well, ain't nobody got nothing else to say like something special, maybe? Well, I ain't got one thing to say, Grandpa. Yeah, I bet you have. You wouldn't let a word get tangled up in that tonsil of yours. What you got to say? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is the life. You know, when I first came to this country, I had to live on 15 cents a day. Well, Pino, how could you live on only 15 cents a day? I'll buy a bottle of milk for breakfast, a box of crackers for lunch, and I'll eat them for supper. <laughs> no corn pone? Why, Grandpa, it ain't Sunday. No sausages, no pancakes. It ain't no holiday. It ain't nothing but harmony, grits, and sour belly. Well, Grandpa, ain't you gonna eat any breakfast? Well, my, my heart ain't in it. When my heart ain't in it, why? My stomach ain't so smart either. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
you know what I'm going to say right now. <laughs> say, wasn't that somebody just bringing something up the house? Who? When? Where? Oh, quit acting like a deputy sheriff. Thanks for standing there and telling me that, that a bundle wasn't shoved at you less than a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, sure funny, ain't it? Yeah, well, it's most near supper time, Grandpa. I better bring the cow in. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you doing all Sunday, Dub? I let you guess. Yeah, wait a minute now. You need to go to a funeral or a wedding. Now, you look too happy for a man that's going to be funeraled, and you ain't quite sad enough for a man that's about to be hitched. Now, you wouldn't be going to a party to celebrate, would you? I'm taking Conchita to a driving movie. <laughs> you know there ain't no driving movie around here. I know. That makes it even better. <laughs> And I suppose Kate's going over to see Conchita with Jesse? Oh, no, Senor Gramsci. Well, what's she doing strutting around proud in the peacock with two tails? Well, well, you see, it's a national holiday. What holiday is it? Well, don't ask me, Senor Grandpa. It's your country. <laughs> what did you do, come out here and catch me sprucing up? I'll spoil the whole goddamn surprise party. Because that's what it is. You had the same thing last year. Only this year, I'm going to act double surprised. I'm going to pop my eyes open just like a stomped on toad. <laughs> mm, happy birthday to me. To me. Happy birthday to Grandpa. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> you're all shaved. Today ain't Sunday. I know it ain't Christmas, it ain't Easter, it ain't Sunday. Everybody around here sure knows what today ain't. What's going on around here? Oh, Kate's got supper fixed for you and little Luke. Where's Pepina? He's seeing Conchita. Hassie's going with me and Kate to have supper in town. We're going to do a mite of window shopping. You see, me and Kate's anniversary is coming up pretty soon, and Kate's birthday, too, and I want to start getting her a bunch of presents. Yeah, I know you would think of something important like Kate's birthday, but you've got a special forgettery for other things. <laughs> hey, Grandpa, how much money you figure we'll get from Mr. Harper on that egg deal? Why? Well, I was counting on using it to make this year a real whop doozer for Kate. Ain't that a good idea? If you had an ID, why the dial lonesomeness floating around in that empty head of yours? I'm ready, Luke. Oh, oh, Grandpa, your supper's on the stove. I think it's hot enough. Well, I hope you didn't go to too much trouble to light that stove. Supper in town, window shopping. It's going to be practically like a holiday. Merry Christmas. <laughs> well, we better get going. Hey, where's little Luke? Well, I've seen him near the hen house before. Oh, yeah, I'll send him in, Grandpa. Good night. Good night, Grandpa. Good night. Come on. We start having a birthday on the 4th of July. Shit off a bunch of firecrackers under him. Never make him remember. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know if you got a head on your shoulders or a sack of tapioca. Don't you know no better than to go notching up good wood? I didn't cut all those notches. I only cut one, and that was the other day. Well, don't ever let me catch you doing it again, you hear? You better get in the house, because supper's ready, and Grandpa's beginning to fret. Luke, we better get into town if we want to get any shopping done before the store's closed. <laughs> oh, you know, Grandpa sure was mad thinking we was going off leaving him alone, wasn't he? <laughs> Well, tomorrow when it's his birthday and he finds out it was his presents we was going to get, he'll get over his mind. I guess. Now, remember, little Luke, don't you say a word to Grandpa, or you'll spoil the big surprise for tomorrow. Now, now go on. Get Come on. Now, don't get excited, girls. This blanket ain't for you. I'm just going to put these over here in the corner. And come sun up, I'm shoving off. I ain't even going to say how long I'm going to be gone, either. Might be a day or a week or a month. And I ain't going to write and tell them where I'm at. I'll learn them. 
You can't because I can't write, neither. Because I'm going to learn to write. Then I won't even write them. <laughs> it ain't like Grandpa to miss breakfast, especially on his birthday. Maybe he went off someplace. Go and get your milk and things. Oh, any sign of him, Luke? No, no, he ain't in the barn, he ain't in the fields. He just plumb disappeared. Where could he go this early in the morning? Stupid, though, of course. He told me himself he was going to Los Angeles to see Mr. Harper about the egg deal. Los Angeles, well, no wonder he left so early. Oh. Well, this is just fine. With Grandpa gone, we'll have plenty of time to, to fix up the house for his party tonight. Yeah, we sure will. Hey, we can really go to town, huh? We'll put up uh, streamers and banners and a big sign up here. <laughs> oh, boy, we'll have this place looking fancier than a California gas station. <laughs> Oh, howdy, bird. You don't mind if I camp here a bit, do you? <laughs> Thanks. Excuse me while I go gather some firewood for tonight. Oh, would you wash my gear? Thank you. <laughs> ha! Magnifico! It is like a fiesta. <laughs> <laughs> it's just as pretty as a picture, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> Luke, why don't you get the presents for Grandpa and, and we'll put them around the table. Right? <laughs> okay, sugar babe. Boy, I sure thought Grandpa was on to us when the delivery man brought this mac and all. <laughs> what else is you getting, Luke? Oh, there's a blue polka dot snap-on bow tie. Uh -oh. A genuine celluloid collar. Reversible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. There are Argyle Galluses for when he goes out stepping with Flory. <laughs> and a giant, king-size bottle of pine tree apt shave lotion. Lotion? What kind of present is that? Well, you'll find out when you grow up, little Luke, that there ain't nothing more a woman likes than a dance with a man that's got a nice smell of neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Luke, Luke, you don't think we spent too much money, do you? Oh, no, no, not really. I'll take it, sir. Oh, yeah. No, oh, I admit 98 cents for aftershave lotion's pretty steep, but, well, I, I think it's good business in, in the long run to buy the large economy size. <laughs> Besides, with that deal that Grandpa's making with Mr. Harper today, we're going to have us a mighty profitable egg business. Say, Luke, you know, I'm getting kind of worried. It's late. Shouldn't Grandpa be home by now? Yeah. Yeah, he sure should. Want me to get my bike and look for him? No, no, let's not be a bunch of worry wars. Now, Grandpa's bound to be long any minute now. There he is now! Oh, oh everybody get ready. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. You, you all right, Mr. Harper? <laughs> Folks, this is Mr. Harper. Mr. Harper, the, uh, the McCoys. Yeah. Howdy, Mr. Harper. Uh, we're sorry about that. Yeah. But where's Grandpa? Yeah, where is Grandpa? I brought Mr. Harper all the way from Los Angeles to meet him. But we thought he went into town with you to see Mr. Harper. With me? Now, look here, Polson. If this is a stall to get me to jack up the price... Believe me, Mr. Harper. Where's Grandpa? Find him right now. Look, I'm worried. As far as I'm concerned, the whole deal is off. But Mr. Harper will find him. He'll probably walk in here any minute. And today was going to be his best birthday. Well, does he have a birthday every day? Yesterday he wouldn't go into Los Angeles with me because he said he had a birthday party. Well, you mean that Grandpa thought yesterday was his birthday? Yes. Well, that's it. No wonder he acted so funny. He thought we were going to have the party for him. And when we didn't, well... Oh, he must have felt just terrible. That's what happened, Luke. He's gone off somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way it looks, but where? Where could Grandpa go to? Oh, I said he... Little Luke, we're trying to think. You got any ideas for Pino? Well, if I was Senor Grandpa, we'd go to... No, not if I was Senor Grandpa. Listen, everybody. Oh, Little I... Luke, will you stop? Can't you see we're trying to figure out what happened to Grandpa? Luke, have you got any more ideas? Mm-hmm. No, I give up. Not me. I know where Grandpa is. He was going to take me to Toldum Springs Camping Grounds. That's where he is. Yeah, he goes there many times. Of course. Well, little Luke, why didn't you say so before? Haven't you been listening at all? Little Luke, we're going to have to get your hair cut. Your ears must be getting too closed in. Well, Amish... 
This is what comes from being so god darn sentimental about birthdays. You could have gone into Los Angeles with Paulson and made that big egg deal. But you were so sure the family was going to make a big to-do over you. Well, I hope you learned your lesson. From now on, business comes first. Be hard as nails. Be hard as nails. Make money. Be hard as nails. Make money. All right, you hands get the cashman. This ain't no rest home, it's a workhouse. I don't want to catch none of you sitting down. I mean, standing up on the job. And no big talk, neither. Well, let's see what you're turning out now. Who done that? You call that an egg? Well, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this back here. And whichever one of you started it, I want you to stick with it till it's done. I'm in the egg business to make money. And a lot of it. And let me tell you this. If I just catch one of you girls daydreaming, you're going to have Sunday dinner with me. But I'm going to be the only one eating. <laughs> When you got money, you don't need no family. You don't need nothing. It's about time you got here. Did you close that deal with Harper? He offered $300 for our egg production. $300? Why, that's chicken feed. <laughs> you pay $600, I'll run him out of business. Yes, you're hard. Hard as nails. Here it is only Tuesday. You've already run two men out of business. Yeah, we have had a good week, ain't we? <laughs> I got to hand it to you, Amos. I thought I was a tough businessman. When it comes to being downright mean... You can give me cards and spades. Enough of this, Flattering. Let's get into town and crush up. Amos, you can't go into town today. Why not? Because today's your birthday. So it is. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. That's enough of this celebrating. Let's get. But, Amos, what about your family? They'll be celebrating your birthday with parties and games. My family, the McCoys, they don't care nothing about birthdays. Why, they don't even remember them. Come on, let's get. <laughs> Senor Lampa. Well, Pepino, how is every little thing? These last five years have been terrible without you. And now, we lost the farm. You think I don't know about it? I'm the one that puts you out of business. You? I put people all over the country out of business. How could you do this to your own family? When you're in big business, Pepita, you can't play favorites. <laughs> You come back. Grandpa! Grandpa! Little Luke, you ain't been eating so well in the last five years. You ain't growed an inch. It sure is good to see you, Grandpa. I'm surprised to see you. I foreclosed on this place. How come you're still here? We couldn't leave until we had the birthday party. Birthday party? Where'd you get the money for such nonsense? Took our last dollar, but we had to do it. Sentimental slot. <laughs> Whose birthday party is it? Kate's, I'll bet. No, Grandpa. It's yours. Huh? How long has this been going on? Ever since that day we forgot, Grandpa. Since she went away. And you're sorry? Sorry. Sorry we've been miserable ever since. Do you forgive us, Grandpa? Forgive you? Please hear his thousand dollar bill Never mind them now, little Luke They're all mushed up anyway And after all, it's only money <laughs> What I want is a piece of that damn birthday cake What are you doing way down that end of the table? Happy birthday to you. 
have to be out of your mind to do business this way, but it sure helps. If we found them, we can settle this thing right away. What are you doing out of uniform? You're... What is this, a trick to get more money out of me? Well, Grandpa's had himself a dream. Yes, I guess I did have a bit of a dream. But... Oh, I remember now. But how come my birthday's a day late? I've been keeping track of the days by cutting the knots in the hen house wall. Well, no wonder you figured your birthday a day early. Little Luke carved a notch there, too. Well, uh, if I raise it to 400, will you sign? Stupid old coot like me. Not only I can't read, but I can't count, neither. If you can count up to 500, sign the contract. <laughs> this is my last offer. Well, now, us big businessmen don't have no trouble coming to terms. There you are, partner. Take a lesson from a real salesman. <laughs> To you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandpa. Happy birthday to you. God, oh, done candle smoke artist did make my eyes smart. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday.